What's going on guys? Dustin with Custom Offsets. Today I'm here with Junior. What up? We're back with another episode of the tier list. I dubbed it by the way. I don't know if it's the a thing. The tier list. The tier list. Burr, 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 burr. Trap horns everywhere, it's you know what I'm saying? Can we trademark it? Yes, let's do it. A little aggressive. I feel like it's such a generic term. It's like being like the truck YouTube channel. Well, yeah, but why you gotta call me out like that? So anyway, we're back with another tier list. If you guys haven't seen it, we did one of these about a week ago now, and you guys about said that you... You guys said you really liked them. We're gonna do another one. So today we're ranking the Dodge truck generation, Dodge slash Ram. Let's get that out of the way right now. We know they changed, right? So we're gonna start with the first gens, go all the way up to the fifth gens. Should be pretty cool. Before we do that though, wheel tire suspension, customoffsets.com. We're also doing a giveaway. You can get entered at customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. I think I covered all of it, right? Right. All right. That makes me uncomfortable. I don't it know It actually why. hurts. <laughs> 1981 to 1993, first gen Dodge. Ready? Three. Oh, wait, wait. Are we gonna explain what a tier list is? Do they people know? Do people know? A tier list. We kind of- All right, you explain it. All right, tier list, you got your rankings. It's like Forza, right? There's like S, which is like your race tier, your like best of the best tier, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. And we've got first gen through fifth gen Dodges. We threw in the facelift in there for the third gens too. So we have six that we're kind of going over and ranking them. So it should be pretty good. Yeah. I'm excited for this. This should be uh, uh, should be a great one. We're talking- Considering the last one went so badly because you would have an A and I'd have it as an F, we'll see how this one goes. I have a feeling this one is also gonna be pretty polar opposite. We'll so and, we're, and just to, to preface, we're taking into consideration all both half ton, three quarter, one ton, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. Yep. Cool, let's do it. So first gen. All right. Three, two, one, S. A. Ooh, I, S I, tier. I, I hear like sneaking the, those old trucks are F. Oh right, boy, so Mopar okay. Daryl, I picture his truck when I think of S tier, right? Yeah. He's got a first gen Cummins. It's on like, I think it's full air ride all the way around. He's on like forces or some forged wheel or something like that. Like the paint is just minty. The thing is super clean, super dope. And like, that is what I think of when I think of a first gen is his truck. Absolutely, I agree, and I'm pulling my phone up because I just want to double down on that, and I forget what the guy's uh, Instagram tag is. So AVV Blanc, I follow him, and he's got this absolutely gorgeous first-gen dually. Yeah. And so, like, I don't, I struggled really hard not to put the first gen in the S tier because they are, they're classic trucks, they're iconic. My granddad had a, a 92 W250 in that really like vivid blue growing up, so they have a super soft spot in my heart. They're just fantastic trucks man yeah. and they, they look good they they had it for a long time but and i don't know why like it was around for like three generations of like the silver rock or the the k series yeah right? yeah, like, yeah it lasted that one generation lasted as long as like three generations of other vehicles but it it still looks good and it's it's cool to see that there's still a lot of them right it's not like the some of those other trucks are just like rotted out and like they just are what they are at this point there's a lot of them that are like in good condition still and people are like like bringing back up to speed and everything like that, which is, it's cool to see them, I guess. And they look good lifted, they look good slammed, they yeah. look good as dually, they just are beautiful trucks. So, maybe this one won't be so polar opposite after all. We'll I see. I don't know, I don't really like Dodge. Oh, Jesus, here we go. 1994 to 2001, second gen Dodge. Three, two, one, B. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> second gen. What? They look so ugly. What? Have you seen the sloth from Ice Age? Yes. They look like that. That is but, literally what a second gen But looks Twister, like. bro. I don't know what that means. The movie. You're, what? That's like saying like Sharknado. It's like <laughs> just some <laughs> B-list movie. You can't be like, this is the reason why this Did you really is just, so good. this man's just said that Twister <laughs> is a B-list movie. The internet is gonna roast you so bad. I don't even know who was in that movie. I don't know if I've even seen it, to be honest. It's Sharknado. <laughs> it's the prequel to Sharknado. <laughs> no, Twister's a fantastic movie. And that I think that solidified the second gen for me. Uh, was uh, the red second gen in that, in that movie was just, it was iconic and it was classic and it looked good in- This it, movie only has a 59% Rotten Tomatoes rating. The internet's gonna agree with me because the critics agree with me. Which one of us is right? Is Twister a great movie or a bad movie? Let us know it in the comments below. It looks like shit. It's got the same font as Friends, which is also garbage. Bro, it came. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Back on track though, the second gen for me looks really cool. I I like them a lot in comparison to some of the other uh, body styles of Ram trucks. 
And again, I think it follows on that same thing. For me, it's super nostalgic, right? Being a kid, that was the hot truck back in the day. And so. don't get me wrong, there are some clean builds out there with them. It's just like, this is my personal <laughs> take on it. It's not saying like custom offsets hate anything. Just me personally, they're not what I would pick to go with or anything like that. But there are, I think this one, like the 12 valve was a thing and that whole 12 valve, 24 Correct. valve and all of that. So it's not like they're bad trucks or anything like that, but it is what it is. Also, Twister came up before I was born, so. Oh my God, I forget you're a baby. Yikes. 2002 to 2008, third gen Dodge. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, E. We agreed on That something. is the first time in Ever? the two videos that are in this series that we <laughs> have actually- In our lives that we've actually agreed yeah, on anything. Uh, yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. The third gens didn't do it for me. The, the, the facelift is a little bit better, but the, the first version of the third gen is almost as bad as the second gen. Oh, Jesus, here we go. I don't. The headlights have weird, like fluttered, bubbly things on the bottom. And yeah, I don't know I, I, and that's not to say. Again, I want to. I want to follow up on this. Like Mitchell White has a beautiful. Well, his is a second version of it. I know, but I do it, like that. It, third gens in general, like, can be done really well. And I looked at one before I bought the Duramax because they're priced about the same in the market today. But man, the interior in those trucks. Trash, trash. Kills me. Yeah, it's, I was gonna bring that up too. Uh, it's cheap and plasticky, and and there's a the just the bench seats are like, not comfortable. Yeah. It, I want to like them, and I just can't. So for that reason, I put them at a knee. Yeah, that's same. Interior is a big thing for me. The headlights are still kind of weird, and like I think of what is it like that that blue color? There's just that certain blue of the third gen that they had that just I think of when I think of yeah. it. Yeah. And just being rusty and weird headlights and awful interior. <laughs> Probably smells a little bit like cat pee. I don't know. Like, oh I just my can't god. Do it. All right, we went there. 06 facelift. I'm interested to see on this one. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, F. F. Oh, you can't like do it. Worse can't do it. The first version can't the do it. Gen? As if it wasn't bad enough with the, the, the plasticky interior and the not good bench seat and all of that, and then they changed the headlights. They made them better. They look almost like fourth gen headlights at that I don't, point. I don't like it. I don't what? like the way the front end looks. I don't like, oh and again, my. it's not to say that I hate those trucks, right? Because like I said, Mitchell's truck is beautiful yeah. and it looks really good. And I looked at a, th uh, a third gen for a while because they were just in my price range, but man, I just can't do it. What? I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't believe you put that as an F. I can't believe you put a the second gen as an well, F. Well, yeah, have you seen it? Get out of here. You're comparing <laughs> the cute little baby from Ice Age to the sloth from Ice Age. And you're putting the baby as an F and the sloth as a what, B? There's no comparison there. And, or the saber tooth tiger. That That's like, oh, I'm, we're done. I'm done. Never seen references. Twister, but actively quotes and refers to Ice Age. The last. Answers no. all of the uh, all of the questions <laughs> I had. <laughs> 09 to 18, fourth gen. Three, two, one, B. C. All right, yeah, we're close. Yeah. I like how you like turned to me super like. Well, because I was waiting for another F to come out of your mouth. No, I didn't. I only <laughs> rated one F. <laughs> Junior's so triggered about this. It doesn't even make sense. So you put the, the one that <laughs> almost looks like a fourth gen as an F, but then the fourth gen itself, you give a, what'd you say, B? A B, or C, excuse me, C, yep. That doesn't even make sense. You didn't even make sense. I don't know, they, they started getting better at their interiors, I think is when they had like the Longhorn packages and yep. stuff like that. With the, maybe they had them in third gens too, but they're still trash. But in the fourth <laughs> gens, they started actually like making nicer interiors. But like, I've also seen some of the fourth gens where the interiors are still like lackluster, work truck at best, and so, the, and the fourth gen too, I think is, I think you could even make the case that the fourth gen changed a ton over uh, over the nine years or ten years that it was in production, right? Was I it mean, for that one? yeah, uh, I oh, think yeah, like 09 nine to eighteen. To nine. Yeah, yep. yeah. And now, now I know that there's technically the three quarter and one tons lasted, uh, I believe, a year longer, yeah. or whatever. But either way, they changed a lot over there. And I think early fourth gens, I'm not a super huge fan of. But that's late, because they were Dodges and not Rams. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big brain over here. But I think the later fourth gens looked pretty good, which is why I ranked them kind of right in the middle of the tier list. Um, you know, they start like when they came out with Delmonico Red, for example. Yeah. Delmonico is one of my favorite automotive like OEM colors to date. It's super good. Um, but I, I don't know. They're good trucks. They're solid. They look 
decent, but yeah. I, I think it looks good. There's some weird colors out there. I think Tatted Olsen's got that like orange one. I don't know if I've seen that one. Oh, it's, I don't know what the color is. He, there's like two of them in a photo at one point. Uh oh. It's, it's a interesting, I don't know. But they started, yeah, right. They started coming with different like paint jobs, different colors, and just kind of getting out there. Here, this is, this is it. Ooh, that's kind of a, an odd color. Yeah, right. like, yeah. It's like a, got kind of crazy. It's like a pale burnt orange almost. Yeah. It's a little weird. I don't know if I like that. It's different. Yeah, for real. But yeah, I don't know. They're decent trucks. That's why I rated them where I did. And I think that's why we came in, you know, kind of mid-pack there. So. Solid trucks. Cool. 19 plus fifth gen. You ready for this? Are we gonna have this? Okay. Fifth gen? Yeah, yeah. You ready for this? Yep. Ready? Three, two, one. S. S. F. S. I just put it in A, I'm just kidding. So, so <laughs> I was you like, didn't what? have any reaction. I'm like. At first up. I thought you said S and I was like, so you doubled up two S tier trucks? No, I just put it as an A. I, I didn't put it as an S. I feel like S tier has got to be something that's like more out there, hard to get, super unique, which is why I put the first gen there. Okay, and that's, I respect that. Yeah, but the fifth gens, I like the way they look. There's some phenomenal interiors, not to mention the giant 12 inch like Tesla screen you can get. In yeah. Like... Yeah, Ram, Ram came out heavy with the fifth gen and they really, I mean, they, they killed it. OEM paint colors look good. The grill looks good. The headlight taillights look good. The interiors are fantastic. Probably and arguably one of the best interiors in the market today. Uh, the clear 35 is basically factory, right? With a, like a four inch lift, you're stuffing 37s under there. Uh, everything about them is just a fantastic truck. And I, I will own one someday. Really? I love them. I want one. It just wasn't, the cards didn't align for me quite yet, you know, so. Eventually, I think that'll be in the garage. I really like those trucks a lot. Yeah, I dig them. There was uh, the Drop Shop had one at uh, LTN two years ago when it basically first came out, and that thing was nuts. Like yeah. that, they do a lot of good like builds and stuff right out of, like in general. But just seeing that thing, which is a brand new truck at the time, and everything they did to it, it was immaculate. They. Just, they're dope drops. Yeah, and they look good. I mean, they look good lifted and, and, and skating down the highway. They look great dropped and, and you know, bagged, laid out. And they just, they look good in pretty much every build, which and which is why. Not I like to mention too, kind of what you're saying about the headlights, taillights, all that stuff that you see a lot of the fourth gen guys, like Rainy, yeah. right, swapped. He's got like the more motor headlights, which look similar to the fifth gens, but then his like taillights are fifth gen taillights and they've got custom harnesses that hook yeah. up to it and everything then. Like there's a lot of guys with the fourth gens trying to get closer to that fifth gen look. Go with like the OEM sport grill, which has like the yeah. drop downs and the little twisty guy. Yeah, yep, absolutely. So beautiful trucks either way. I, I couldn't help. I mean, if you guys have watched the channel for all, you know I'm a big fifth gen Ram guy, so. I think that's it. That's it. It's another episode of the tier list. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have an idea for a tier list video and you liked this one, let us know down in the comment section oh, I below. Got of, I got a bunch of ideas. Of Do you? Yeah. We're not. Re we're not doing Broncos. Why, why we're not? not? We're not. We're not. We're not oh, doing that. Fifties. Uh, it's not a Bronco. Or it's not an F one fifty. They match. They're the same body style. They're the same body all style. All right. That's all we got, guys. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe. YouTube.com/slash/CustomOffsetsTV.